welcome to DXB Today. Now, our next guest in the studio is an artist, graphic designer, and creates the wonderful vintage poster series that is inspired by expat life in the UAE. High Life Dubai is designing accessible artwork through digital platforms. She is portraying stories of the city and the life and the cultural identity of the UAE. She's a legend and I love her artwork. Claire, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> this is fantastic. Now, you have been, uh, I would say, an institution to this city. Whoa, that's how. <laughs> what, what? No, no, really and truly. So how did you first get into it? Um, actually, when I came here, which was 16 years ago now, I was work working advertising, one of these big international ad advertising companies, and we were launching a metro. So by doing that, I was researching how other countries had launched their subway systems and underground. That's when I fell in love with the London underground posters, which are the vintage posters. So then I just, I actually presented it to RTA um, as an idea for the Metro, but they weren't interested. And I presented it three years in a row. And then when I actually left, I thought I'm going to do this idea, but with more social commentary in mind. And uh, yeah, so I could have some real fun with it. Claire, I think you're so talented, and my favorite thing about you is it's always the easiest present to give to somebody, and they're gonna love it because it's like so personal. How do you, I just wanna talk about your creative process here. How do you come up with the ideas? How do you document them? You're actually really funny as well. Everything's like just a little bit quirky. How does that all work? Well, the ideas themselves usually come just from speaking to friends, and it's just usually something that we all kind of agree on. I try and find things that we can all relate to. So whether that's I meet people at my market stall, um, they'll give me ideas, and it's just if there's an idea that we all can relate to, then I'll I'll try it out. Um, and to kind of find the humour, um, I like to sort of take these Dubaiisms and just exaggerate them a lot. So, like for example, um, salon time is a picture of. Um, a lady having her nails done, but instead of like two technicians, yeah. there's like five. Yes. So it's like, it's, 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 I, I want to play with um, uh, the idea that, uh, you know, we are very Western privileged expats here. Do you know what's funny? Today, just today, when I was on my way down to the studio, I saw these two uh, English expats in, in two separate cars in BMWs, convertibles, and it was just, I was just like, that's so typical. That's so typical. Do you do commissions, by the way? Um, I do, but I don't do too many. So I did Expo, which was an amazing job. Um, I did four posters for them. And I do kind of brands that I enjoy. Um, perhaps uh, I've done like a Peroni and I've done like uh, um, various kind of brands where I can be funny. Um, but yeah, not so many these days. <laughs> uh, Claire, where can people find your High Life Dubai vintage poster series? So I did have a uh, permanent exhibition down in um, Al Fahidi, but unfortunately it closed for COVID. So if anyone's watching this and you'd like a permanent high life exhibition, a space, um, I'm still looking for a new one. Other than that, um, I have various prints and frames uh, in the Times Square in the Makers Guild where you guys can uh, did a slot. And then um, mostly you can buy them online in my online store, uh, which is highlife-dubai.com and we'll deliver in three to four days. So I wish you to see you at the right market and different places in D3, all yeah. over the city. Yeah, man, good times. We've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 This looks interesting, but I can't, can I intrude and ask her a question? Claire, I just want to ask, um, moving to Dubai, why Dubai? It's a good question. I mean, originally I came here for one year. Uh, as I think many expats do, um, I got offered a really good job, as I said, at this advertising agency. So it was just to get out of dreary London and to just have a lovely year in the sun and make some <coughs> decent tax free money. But then 16 years later, I'm still here because there's been a lot of opportunity. And what I did with the High Life series, I think that um, it, it's continued for now nine years. And I think the beauty of that is that the transientness of this place. So I have. Uh, a lot of my customers are leaving, so it's just enabled me to continue to do this for so long. I think in London, perhaps I wouldn't have been so successful. So, um, yeah, I love this place for that. And loving the sun is always on the list. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah of course. You list. know, I got your sandy charades. Our whole family oh, yeah. plays it. We really enjoy it. So now, what, what is your next plan other than your vintage posters? Is it going to take on a whole other life? Uh, so what I'm planning to do is continue with the format of vintage posters, but I, I am working secretly for like the last three years on a new uh, kind of project. So it's going to be looking at, uh, I'll share with it with you now, it's uh, looking at um, big tech and society. So hopefully using satire in the same way um, to kind of um, put my own opinions uh, 
about our relationship with things like social media and things like that. So I think that's a really interesting um, topic to tackle. So I'll be doing that. Claire, your entire idea and concept is not only creative, but it's also very fresh. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the you. show and telling us all about it. And we wish you all the very best. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Thanks, Claire. Mm -hmm. Now, as the Emirates Literature Festival is happening in full swing, we are letting you in on all that has been going down. So let's find out who Katie caught up with at the event. I'm down at the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature. As always, it's an absolute staple in the Dubai calendar. The atmosphere is buzzing. I'm hoping to catch up with a few of the speakers and the authors and also get a little bit of self-help tips from a Buddhist monk. Anthony, thanks so much for joining us. How are you? I'm very, very well, thank you. I'm very happy to be back here again, I think, for maybe the fifth or sixth time. Do you know what? No, we love it and we love that people do keep coming back to the Lit Fest. What is it about the Lit Fest that just keeps you coming back? Well, this is one of the great literary festivals in the world. And everybody knows that because of its international profile, because of the fact that it lasts a whole week and that we get so much time to spend with each other, by which I mean writer to writer. I yeah. love meeting audiences, but one of the great joys in my life is to sit down in the wonderful pool up on the fourth floor here <laughs> and have a whole afternoon maybe with writers who then become friends for life and it is absolutely true that some of my closest friends came into my life right here so coming back to this festival the buzz of it you can see all around yeah. us you know young and old international uh everywhere you look there's activities happening it is a great festival you know what you focus on as well as these really compelling dramas and mysteries we could, the list is endless do you get inspiration much when you do travel to other places? And if so, how, how does that... Well, of course. I mean, for that, you know, Dubai has actually turned up in one of my novels, Oblivion. I don't think it has a particularly happy ending, I'm afraid. It's a slightly sort of... No spoilers. Slightly, <laughs> <laughs> slightly dark novel that I wrote many, many years ago. But that was influenced by coming here. And absolutely, the great pleasure of travel is that it feeds my imagination. And everything I see, the people I meet, like yourself, coming to a place like this, you know, just chatting just now to a... I met a young man called Mohammed who works in the world of, of comic books and is creating, you know, graphic novels around the world. And it makes you think about other people and what they do and their work and things that might not have occurred to you. He could be a great character in a book. It's always like that. And, and just things I overhear, ideas I get. You've got to come out of the room. You've got to yeah. get into the world if you're going to be a writer. Because if you don't, you're going to end up simply writing about somebody sitting alone in a room. And how boring is that going to be? First of all, it's your first Lit Fest, obviously, being the first time in Dubai. How's yes. it been for you so far? It's been really great. Good. You know, I got to know uh, the, fe the first group of fellows from the, the uh, Literary Festival. They came to New York City and we did some courses for them. So I, I, I'm familiar with it, okay. but this is my first time coming here. Right, exactly. And, and I hope they invite me back because I'm will. having a good time. Well, I'm sure we will. Right, tell us. President of the Gotham Writers Workshop. What is it? Where did it come from? It's a writing school, creative writing mostly, but we also do business writing. It's been around for 30 years. I didn't found it, but I run it. Okay. And we do in-person classes in New York City. We also do video conference classes and asynchronous online classes. So we have students from all over the world, including the UAE. Oh, so, so there's lots of ways to take classes with us. I'm really excited to talk about your new book. Okay. Tell me the full title. Handbook for Hard Times, A Monk's Guide to Fearless Living. I mean, it's incredible. What, what, what are you hoping that readers will kind of get out of it? I've written a book that explains how you can, uh, when you're going through difficult times, you can use meditation to give yourself more strength. You can become more resilient. You can become more compassionate, more wise. So the book is, is really, hopefully to help people uh, navigate life's difficulties with a slightly new attitude, an attitude of, okay, I'm going to use this to help me grow. I don't need to feel like a failure. I don't need to feel overwhelmed. I can handle stuff better. So this is the book. The book is to help people build inner strength. Our time is up for another day at Emirates Airline Festival of Literature, but it is on for one more day. You don't want to miss it. Get down here. 
Claire, once again, thank you so much for coming on our show. And our guest co-host today, Aisa Fakihi, you. you have been amazing. Uh, great source of knowledge and inspiration, and no, we're very no, excited thanks, to have thanks. you back on with us. Now, coming up, don't you go anywhere, because we have Hollywood actor Sam Asghari here in the studio. We're going to do an interview with him, and Ash and I are very excited. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Karim Murtraji is going to be playing Khudni Maek brilliant song to play us out from the show so don't you don't want to miss this <laughs>